I took out a loan for 3,500 years ago. And now with the interest is $5,750 that I owe. A price for higher education, China Star Taylor says she just couldn't afford. The single mom had to take a break from attending Hudson Community College almost 10 years ago because of some life changes. But when Taylor tried to go back, she was told she couldn't enroll because her loans were in default. I got discovered, you know, I just like I couldn't pay it because I'm a single mom. And I had a lot of responsibilities at that time and paying a loan was just not an option. I didn't have the money. But there is hope again for Taylor to finally get the degree she has always wanted. President Biden is pledging to cancel $10,000 in federal student loan debt for tens of millions of borrowers making $125,000 or less a year. Pell Grant recipients are eligible for another 10000 And it does give borrowers an opportunity to pay down other loans that they might have, high interest debt. Leslie Tain is a financial attorney specializing in debt relief. She says many people don't realize how quickly loan balances can increase when interest continues to accumulate. When you're deferring payments on student loans and the interest is accumulating, the balances go up and that makes it even more challenging for borrowers to pay it off. Tain recommends borrowers make sure their tax returns are up to date so they can be eligible for automatic forgiveness. If you don't and you have not filed your federal tax return and you're concerned about automatic forgiveness not happening, then be aware that an application will come out before the end of the year. That's something that you should be aware of and look for. We have had a rapid increase uh, in student debt over the past 15 years. It, it's really tripled uh, to about $1.75 trillion. According to Rutgers economist James Hughes, there are about 43 million people across the country who owe around thirty dollars to $40,000 in student loans. More than a million of them are right here in New Jersey. He believes the loan forgiveness program will be a great help in the future, especially for things like improving credit scores and buying a house. There are some claims that it's going to be uh, an inflationary force uh, because the dollars that uh, are not going to pay down the debt uh, are going to be uh, transformed into consumer spending. That's not a strong argument. Loan uh, payments have been suspended were suspended during the pandemic and they're due to end in January. So all of a sudden we're going to have more uh, loan holders paying their debt again. And that sort of counterbalances the losses of payments due to loan forgiveness. Students attending college now also agree. I'm taking out loans, so personally for me I feel like it's be very beneficial. On the back end, when I graduate, it's not really much of a worry or concern. But there are some critics who don't believe forgiving student loans now is fair to those who've already paid theirs off. It's better for us, obviously. They didn't have the opportunity, but it's great that the world is advancing and they're helping students in this world. Students like Taylor, who says she's grateful. It gives me hope, you know, that I can go back and make a difference in my life. And she's wasting no time. Taylor is resuming classes this week and has plans to become a chef once she graduates. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.